welcome back to my channel for tonight's agenda. It's actually 7.30 in the evening and I just want to let you know tomorrow uh, we're gonna go on a trip because last month was our anniversary people so we decided like to celebrate it but it so happened that um, we didn't have like the time during August and also Sakto Sakto the second lockdown. So we decided to celebrate it this month. Just want you guys to see how I pack my um, clothes, my things for this short trip. Afterwards, I'm gonna discuss like what are the requirements that um, I did, like the mga preparations that I have to, and also I think suggestions para like mas mapadali yung mga requirements na kailangan yung um, gawin when you want to go to Boracay. But for now, we're gonna pack my clothes and arrange um, our things. Okay, so yeah, let's start. Usually when I go on a trip, um, the good visual is now the mga outfits more. But then I'm gonna try them on. But right now, I don't have that much time na I try pa sila. So I just envision it like uh, so I just have it and everything. If it looks good, then yan. And also I envision like the place that I'm going to, like the destination. Since um we've been to Boracay before, I think alam ko yung mga certain places launch, yung mga aesthetic places that um, I should shoot content, ganyan. So, I'm just gonna pick first in my cabinet. So, I'm planning like, to bring a lot of like skirts and flowy dresses, ganyan, and mga short dresses. And, what should I bring? Oh, this one. So, ganyan ako mag-vision. So, na-envision ko na siya like sa beach and ganyan, you know. So, ganyan lang ako mag-click ng outfit ko. I swear. Pero, like, for example, pag mga, uh, mga international trip, ganyan, like, abroad, of course, like, I think, um, two or three days before the trip, um, even try ko sila talaga, as in, I swear. But right now, since it's, like, local lang, I don't have the time. You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. Here, this is where um, I put all of my swimsuits. Since this is a beach trip, I have to bring some swimsuits. Come a little closer like that. Staying up all night, throwing drinks by. Blue eyes, smiling while you're cursing. I admit it's working. already and as I promised earlier I mention ko yung mga steps na ginawa ko for the travel requirements. First um, before our flight of course meron ako agad na flight booking and then after ko mag book ng flight nag look na rin ako like na mga available hotels na accredited then from DOT so meron akong hotel booking confirmation then the next um, requirement 
that I need to do is yung negative um, RT-PCR. The swab result, ang requirement kasi nila dun is kailangan 72 hours before your flight. So, our flight is tomorrow, which is September um, 24. Ang 72 hours niya since our flight is in the morning, so kailangan makapag-swab ka ng September 21 ng umaga din. What I did, um, yung sa akin, nag Paswab ako yesterday, very early in the morning, ng September 22. And then, yung swab result ko, of course, a lot of you um, will be looking for a cheaper swab. Sobrang matipid kasi ako and kuripot. So, I decided to look for the cheapest one. So, ang pinaka nahanap ko na muro na swab is from the DOT. Parang meron silang partnership ni PCMC. Inavail ko yon yung 50% subsidy as long as you're gonna travel uh, like domestically. So, parang yun yung boost nung ano, tourism natin. So, what I did there, uh, meron akong link pinuntahan from DOT. So, the link, I'm just gonna put it on the description box below. I got you. So, from there, yung link na yun, um, dun ako nag-apply for the swab result. Okay? So, nag-fill up lang ako dun ng mga informations, ganyan. And then, you have to wait for their email na ma-approve ka for the 50% subsidy so that 750 pesos lang yung babayaran mo. Or else, you have to pay for the um, SRP which is around like 3,000 something. So, yun. Um, after waiting, um, naka-receive din ako ng email like um, kinabukasan from the OT na na-approve na ako. I think September 16 ako nag-apply. So, parang September 17, nakatanggap ako ng email from them na approved na yung swab ko na 750 pesos. So, nakalagay din dun sa email na you have to wait daw for the email of PCMC kung kailan kanila nila schedule. Okay? So, yun yung medyo matagal. Since early ako nag-apply, um, siguro nakatanggap ako ng email from PCMC like um, September 21. Yeah. So, nakatanggap ako ng email sa kanila September 21 na September 22 naman nila ako schedule for the RT-PCR. Tapos, early in the morning din yon. So, yun. From there, um, inantay ko lang like kinabukasan na September 22. Then, pumunta na ako sa PCMC. So, it's very easy. Nakalagay dun like 15 minutes before. Pero, Honestly, um, may mga pumupunta kasi na sobrang aga because of the line. Tapos, futures lang yung naka-arrange naka doon. So, kapag hindi ka nakaupo, of course, you have to wait outside, I believe. I think medyo late lang doon is yung mga healthcare workers. Kasi parang late na sila nag-start from the time na yung schedule namin. Although, mabilis lang naman siya kasi like uh, from the screening, tapos bibigay lang nila yung receipt mo. Right from the cashier, pagkabayad ko, Swab agad ako. So, ganun siya kabilis. So, for me, it's not a hassle. And hindi ganun ka like bulk yung tao na you're afraid na baka sobrang crowded ganyan. Hindi. Because I think um, sila PCMC kinocontain nila yon Yung mga tao din. So, yeah. After the swab, of course, um, nakalagay kasi dun sa email nila parang kapag ganitong time ka nag, um, nagpa-swab, so yung result mo ganitong time din dadating. And yung nakalagay dun, 4 to 6 p.m., Pero, kaninang umaga, so filming right now, September 23, so before I fly tomorrow, na-receive ko naman siya sobrang aga, like mga 8.30am. Nagulat ako kasi sobrang aga, may result na agad ako. Akala ko like 46pm pa talaga. So, yon From there, doon na magsa-start like yung mga kailangan yung gawin for the travel requirements. Since I have those um, three requirements, next na ginawa ko para mabilis kasi sunod-sunod siya, nag-open ako agad sa health declaration. So, I had just have to like fill up the health declaration form. I think ang fill up nyo lang is like literally like your personal informations. And then you just have to like check no like, dun sa question nila, like, have you been tested positive for COVID-19? Of course, no. Then, yun lang yun. After that, submit. Once na na-submit mo na siya, so, mag to turn siya to another page. So, yung page na yun, yun yung kailangan yung screenshot. So, na nakapag um, fill up ka na ng health declaration. Fourth requirement, I have the um, screenshot of the health declaration. Okay, so apat na yun. Then, next, um, ginawa ko is the S-Pass. For the S-Pass, if you're not familiar with it, um, I think since nag-pandemic, yung tourism natin, parang nag-create sila ng S-Pass. Like, that's like a pass. 
para makapass through ka sa mga provinces here in the Philippines, okay? Like, if it's work-related or like leisure ba, ganyan. Familiar na ako sa kanya because of my work. So, if you remember, like, my previous vlogs, like, um, I went to Iloilo. So, sa Iloilo kasi, kailangan mo din ng S-Pass. So, from there, medyo alam ko na yung mga gagawin. Although, I believe every provinces, iba-iba yung mga requirements nila. From there, pumunta lang ako sa SPAS website. Then, at first, you have to register if wala ka pang account. But, from my experience, since nakapag SPAS na ako before, so, I already have an account. So, kailangan ko na lang i-fill up yung SPAS for um, Boracay. Okay? So, you have to pick like Aklan slash Malay yung destination nyo kasi that's the address of Boracay Island, I think. So, yun. From there, we fill up ka again personal informations and then there are three requirements that you have to submit sa SPAS. Number one is um, your government ID. So, like, for me, ang nilagay ko ay driver's license. And then, um, the second one is you have to attach your negative RT-PCR result. Last document that you have to submit or attach there is your flight booking and hotel booking confirmation. So, again, since it is a website, and then may nakalagay kasi doon na like upload file. Pag nag-upload ka kasi ng file doon, for example, screenshot or picture, iisang picture lang. Okay, then pa nag-upload ka ulit, that's another picture, which is ma-override niya lang yung another picture. So, what I did, para makombine ko yung flight booking and yung hotel confirmation namin, um, ginather ko yung flight booking and yung hotel booking confirmation sa isang PDF. Okay, so I already have one PDF that um, includes there my flight booking and our hotel booking confirmation. Okay, so from there... Um, I just have to upload the PDF file. Then click submit and then you will have your pending SPAS. If you are struggling, meron din silang nilagay doon ng mga um, contact numbers for that specific um, LGU na pupuntahan mo para matanong mo what happened, bakit ka, hindi ka na-approve, nagkamali ka ba? Because I already did that nung nag ilo, -ilo ako kasi nagkamali ako. So, once you have it already, so that's the fifth requirement. Then, last na dapat yung puntahan after mo uh, gawin yung SPAS and health declaration, etc. Um, you have to email all of those requirements sa touristburakay at gmail.com of course, like, nag-email lang ako na please see attached files. So, these are the things that you need to attach dun sa Tourist Boracay email. First na in-attach ko dun is the health declaration screenshot. Then, um, next is the negative RT-PCR result of mine. Then, next yung um, government ID with proof of Philippines residency. So, of course, like any ID, like driver's license, PRC passport, etc. Next, inattach ko na yung hotel booking confirmation namin following um, the flight booking. Last is your pending S-Pass. I think after 25 minutes, naka-receive na ako agad ng email from Tourist Boracay ng QR code ko, yung health declaration QR code ko, which is that's what you need to go in Boracay. Okay? So, yun, very madali lang siya. Like, I think it took me about one hour. Yeah, one hour. Kasi, yung swap result ko, 8.30, around that time. And then, siguro natapos ako, like, yung sa health declaration, SPAS, then mag-send ng email sa kanila around 9 o'clock a.m. And then, yun, after 25 minutes, like, mga 9.25, Naka-receive na agad ako ng email from Tourist Boracay na yun na, naka-attach na yung QR code ko na kailangan ko like pakita like from the airport, ganyan, pagdating mo sa Boracay, sa port nila, sa boat, sa mga tao and everything, sa mga stores. So that's all you need. Sobrang bilis lang kasi ganun yung steps na ginawa ko. And siguro like um, advantage lang because yun nga, familiar na ako sa S-Pass and medyo napadali talaga siya because I ask 
some of my friends na lately pumunta ng Boracay. So, for me, nagtanong ako kay Crystal. So, thank you so much, Crystal. Basically, tinanong ko, like, gano'ng kabilis mag-respond si sila Tourist Boracay, si Health Declaration, tapos ano, kala, ano yung mga kailangan i-attach. So, basically, I have an idea. That's why I'm sharing it with you. So, in case you want to travel to Boracay, I think that's the steps um, you need to do para, like, smooth and sobrang bilis lang ng flow kasi hindi talaga ako nahas. I recommend really like the RT-PCR um, swab test under PCMC kasi sobrang sulit siya like 750 pesos if you have like the time. Yun lang yung problem dun kasi you wouldn't know when ka talaga nila is schedule because you have to wait for the email. But most likely kasi ibibase nila yung schedule mo I believe uh, from your flight. You don't have to worry kasi pasok naman siya sa 72 hours. So, I'm shocked na ang bilis din ng result. Imagine, like, literally, um, 24 hours, like, may result na talaga ako. And, yeah, um, I think that's it. So, right now, I'm just gonna, like, um, shower up and take a rest because, um, we're gonna fly early in the morning tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys in Barakay! I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go in Barakay. Nasa ibang lugar ako, so kailangan ko mag-makeup, aura, shoot, content, and everything. I'm just so excited. Yeah, baka hindi ako makatulog.